Okay, here we are back again with the Quan Shang uh, TGUV2 dual band radio, VHF, UHF, all band transceiver. And um, this is a, just a quick demonstration of the um, FM broadcast band, uh, regular old FM radio uh, reception capabilities of this radio, which are actually quite good. So we're going to go through the band real quick and illustrate that for you. And the radio does uh, 88.0 to uh, 108.0 megahertz in 100 kilohertz uh, steps. So, you know, that way it works in Europe and in the Americas, which have 200 kilohertz steps. So let's see what we can find here. 88.3. Just try monitor real quick. What is going on here? Oh, let's turn the volume up, of course. Alright, that's a local lower powered religious station. Music. That's 88.9, that's one of the public broadcasting stations. The only problem I have with this radio's performance on FM um, is it does seem to be a little, uh, a little lacking in the selectivity department. I mean, I know it's definitely wideband FM, but uh, you know, if there's two stations that are close together, you can hear both of them. There's 91.3 coming in really clear. I mean, this is looking, you know, look at the size of this antenna. I'm two stories up, but I'm inside. That's pretty good. Another station. And 2.1, that's a real powerful local station, local FM station. That's a more distant station, but it's coming in just as well. Station comes from. Actually, do know how to use a restroom, so it had to be your son. I mean, you can hear 94.5's audio at 94.7. That sort of illustrates my points there. But it is a very local and very powerful transmitter, so. There's a uh, FM station coming out of Fredericksburg, um, Virginia, which is uh, a little bit of ways. We can hear them pretty good. Actually, without a problem at all, 96.9. Compared to the local classic rock station, 96.5, I mean, basically no difference. And this is on this antenna, too. So sensitivity is definitely there. There's uh, the local LP FM, W R I R F F M L P, uh, Richmond, uh, Virginia. They only put out about 100 watts. You can hear them perfectly fine. The simple joy of a tasty stuff. That bleed over is. A little ridiculous. I don't know where this station is coming from. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Just bleed over from this local station. Wow, that's a lot of bleed over.
Sounds like there's two stations uh, going on at once right now. Yeah, it definitely sounds like there's two stations at once on 100.3. And there is a 100.3 station up in the up in the uh, Washington DC area, which is about 100 miles away from Richmond, which is where I'm at now. Okay, let's see what else we can hear. Yeah, that's Station's coming out of Charlottesville. 103.1. That's another local station with some bleed over. 103.7. Great, but that's not really a question. Oh, you're right. I so let's keep saved working. a ton of money with placement assistance for all graduates and financial aid is available for those who qualify. You have the power to make a difference. Center the local station. That's uh, 106.9's coming out of Newport News, which is about uh, 75 miles away, which is uh, pretty good. Right on the fringe for that station. And, uh, you know, still perfect reception on this radio, amazing sensitivity. And we are back at 107.3, local station. Allen. And, and here's a Adam station out of Washington, D.C. That's uh, 107.7 uh, WTOP FM. I've leaked the information about the Stuxnet virus. I'm J.J. Green. How young is too young to be on Facebook? I'm Neil Orgenstein. Fighting diabetes one veggie at a time. I'm Paula Wolfson. So they losses for the Nats and the O's. Tiger Woods looks like his old self again. 931. CBS News Update. I'm Dave Barrett coming off the worst trading day of the year. Friday's 275-point drop. Today will be a crush of fingers and hope. The Dow is now back in business. Trader Art Cashin is with UBS. He says there are some fears about a renewed recession. The market is concerned about a potential double dip. Spell down and broke through there. 200-day moving averages, and that can be a technical sell signal unless, and this is a big unless, they rally the next day, yeah, and that, that is, would be today. And Seaport Securities, Ted Weisberg says, that is coming a up pretty, pretty strong signal in the Dow, for being coming from 100 miles away. Very nice radio, uh, both on uh, VHF, UHF, uh, two-way, you know. Now it's here in two stations at once, even better, right? On uh, 107.7. But, um... Yeah, it's uh, very, very good radio on those performances as well. But, uh, it's a sort of a, uh, secret, secret, uh, thing that you can do some serious FMD exit on this radio with, uh, you know, halfway decent antenna. And, uh... The more, the more I use this radio, the more it, uh, the word the more it surprises me, and the more I'm happy I bought it. Definitely a great, great radio. The Quan Shang, Quan Shang, I'm sorry, uh, TG UV2, Quan Shang TG UV2. National security correspondent at the Washington Examiner. Based on information that in part came from inside the Situation Room, the New York Times reported the Stuxnet virus was built by the U.S. and Israel and launched under the Bush administration. When asked about it in mid-April, former CIA director...